Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Monday morning at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. About 74 degrees, partly overcast. We're gonna go chat with our friend, Barbara Grove, the shell lady. You're looking at the happiest person in the world. There you go, down That's from the I cold, am. cold Minnesota. <laughs> and I had to go to beach. work. Oh no, what? I have to go to the beach to go to work. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> Working on the beach? <laughs> Working on the beach with the <laughs> sun almost out. It's almost out. I'll tell you, you got just a tiny bit of your shell collection here. It is. What would it take? A whole, probably a whole train car to get your collection over here. <laughs> Some beautiful shells you have here. How about, uh, oh my gosh, even back here, you got more oh, back I've, here. And Look I at this. Those are Look all at those. foreign shells, and I'm going to have those next time. Okay, we'll talk about all these, but I'll give everybody a peek at them. There's some really neat ones. Oh, here are a tease. Yes. Yeah, I'm going right. to tease everybody. Next time we chat, we'll talk about these. Let's and talk. I'll tell you some amazing stories about some of them. Okay. I always, you know, I always find something up in Minnesota at the garage sales. Oh, really? And here's what I found. Oh, a little seahorse. A little seahorse. I've only found, I've probably found a handful of those on the beach here. They're usually, usually after storms. Yes. Caught well, up in the seaweed. And you usually find I was going to say the yep, seaweed, and, the and and if you check that out. Yeah. But I always had to say I, it dead, but they're so beautiful. So but, and the males carry the babies in Isn't their that pouch. Isn't that, Isn't that something? sweet? Yeah. And you know, some of those, when you go to the big uh, aquariums in uh -huh. different communities, some of them are, are this big, but not their bodies are. They, they, the bodies are small, but then it's like they have branches. Oh, I've and they seen look those. Like yeah. leaves and it looks like cauliflower. It, <laughs> it looks does. like our cabbage. It's yeah, those amazing. are so neat. I don't know what kind those are, but they're beautiful. Are yeah. they? I, yeah. And they're so, they're, yeah, they, they just flutter. And, yeah. You know, and they, yeah. if you ever get a chance to go to the aquariums, take a look. Oh, yeah. The aquariums, are, I grew up by an aquarium. It was so much fun. Spent a lot of time there in Miami. So let's show us some of the local shells. This what, table, this, everything on this table was taken from this beach, Wiggins Beach. No way. Absolutely. Now, okay, not that calorie. This was taken about four miles out. Four miles off of this beach. And it's a deer cowrie. A deer cowrie, that is beautiful. Four miles. About four miles out by a friend of mine who's a commercial fisherman. fisherman. And um, that is neat. And I have to tell you, when you touch it like this, it's just like velvet. Uh -huh. And I don't do anything to my shells. I just leave them exactly the way they are. Really? So you didn't this, buff that out or put any not, mineral oil on it no, or anything? Not That's a, a thing. Natural just, shine, a deer cowrie. Just how it came out of the water. And there's about. It looks like a, a little fawn. There's about 100. <laughs> yes, it does. You know, with the little spots on it. And there's about 190 species of, of cowries in the world. 190 different types. And a deer cowrie that we have right here is the largest. Is the largest, neat, neat. So strut on that one. Well, that is a very interesting shell. I hope I find one of those someday on the beach. And you could, or at least part of one. Part of one. I haven't, I've never seen part of one yet. Or no, maybe I did you and I didn't know, know it. Exactly. I will, there you go. What? Look, at, let's see, what's some of the, well, I see you have a little sea urchin there. Absolutely. In your I've oyster seen more shell. of those in the last week or so. Yeah, I've seen some of those now lately, yeah. too. Been seeing yes. the urchins. And here's one that doesn't belong here, but I found it here. Uh, you if, found that on this beach? I found that on the beach, and it's it's probably from the Carolinas. And, there, and it worked its way all the way down the round. That, yeah, that the Gulf Stream. The Gulf Stream, the yeah. Keys, and huh. then ended up on our beach. Now, what is that? It looks like an olive shell to me. It is it an olive. It looks like a big it's olive a shell. Gorgeous, gorgeous olive. That is the biggest olive shell I've ever seen. And I was talking to a woman from the Carolinas, and she has seen those on their beaches. Wow. And it's that is just, a beauty. It's just a beauty. It's bigger than most of ours, and, and 
most of ours are, are more right. like this. All right, that's a that's a that's kind it's of a, even a big one here for that's here. That's a nice one, yep, that's and a it's beauty. well lettered. And I've, been, I've found a lot of nice ones over the past few months. A lot of nice olives, and we had a, there was a little time here where. For about a week, the sandbar was full of them. Thousands crawling on the oh sandbar. All live olive snails crawling all over. Oh my. Yeah, that was quite, Every day quite a morning. Every day is different here on the Every beach. morning. Every, Every morning's day. special. Different and special. And you gotta be here. What else we got? Well, oh I see you God. got your Murexes here. You got a couple a, of Murexes, an apple although this one lace. was given to me. And if you notice closely, Oh yeah. It has an operculum or trap door. Gotcha. And which would be attached to the yeah, animal. Down inside there, yeah. That's what closes when the what do you call them? Snails or critters? That's good <laughs> that's good enough. I call them critters. That's good <laughs> enough. <laughs> what they actually are. And um Neat. That's they're a nice gastro size. they're gastropods. Gastropods. But I you like know critters. that's a highfalutin word. Yeah, I'll you go with critters. The beautiful <laughs> apple murex, isn't it? It is. That's a nice are, size one. That's beautiful. There are murexes all over the world. I have one about that big. Mm -hmm. I found one about that big here. And that's let's my see prize. if there's something. You got a lace murex here, too, just so people can see the difference. And I've got murexes from murex. all over the world, too. So there's about four or five others that I have that I'll show you the next time. Okay. You got a nice angel wing over there. That's Beautiful. a nice That's Beautiful. a nice size angel what, wing. And here's a little one. And I can't decide. Maybe some of your if folks If it's real know, or not. If it's a false or a... Whether it's a false one I don't know how or it's a, it. it's a baby one. Most so, people somebody would like said, oh, it's because of that, but they all have that on them, the little, where the hinge was. I know. I, I can't tell the difference. It does have a different pattern. See, that one's got more like a stripe on it going that way. This kind of curls yeah. around, doesn't it, yeah. in a different way. It but, might be a false one. Or maybe the big one's a false one. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You're That's what I'd be doing. I'd be clutching at my heart if I found an olive shell as big as that olive shell on the beach. I couldn't believe it. I'd I'd be going, I didn't uh -oh. believe it. I didn't. I thought, what's going on here? Yeah. No, there, and of course we've got our oh yeah our routine one, but be yep. careful <laughs> if they're alive, you better put them back yep. and because if you, if you don't and you put it in your pocket, yeah, you're going to get a, it's going to get you. You're going to get a little surprise from our fighting. They're conch. aggressive. <laughs> yes, they I always, are. I say that is this right here, the Florida fighting conch, is probably the most collected shell in Southwest Florida. They're, they're so prolific and they're beautiful. And when people come to the beach, it's like, oh, look at that beautiful shell. And if they were rare, then you think it was wonderful, but they yeah. get them by the bag. Yeah. <laughs> well, after you come to the beach a couple of times, you realize they're they're not that rare. <laughs> and here's a young one. Now it looks quite different. Oh, doesn't okay. It? Yeah, you, yeah. You see the contrast between yeah. the older and the, the younger. The older ones have more contrast. And I've seen some little. I mean, we see them of all sizes out oh, here. Little I teeny, love the, the size of my pinky nail out yeah. here. I love the miniatures. I'll and bring you a here, bunch of those. Of course, I'll try to remember to bring you some of them. I got a lot of them smaller. Baby everybody moons. sees this one. Yep. Kevin just had one of those in his pocket today. And they're just beautiful. And if you crack it open, there will be five little angels. Right. That Dove, come out. The little doves. I call the them doves. doves. I call they them are. the little doves. They are. Yep. They are doves. But here's one that doesn't have any of them. Right, those. I was wondering what, because I found the, both kinds here. And this why is does a one pancake. A pancake without the holes? Right. The pancake sand dollar has no holes, okay. Okay. I just thought it wasn't you fully grown it. or something. It was a baby or no. something, didn't get its holes. <laughs> There's different kinds of sand dollars. Okay. And you won't see too much of that kind. Hey, there's the sun. Now, talk, speaking of sun, sundials. Now that I have never seen one of those Is, there. That's it from here. A sundial shell? What's it look like on the bottom? It's stunning. Wow. Looks like a button. <laughs> that look at that. You can look right down in there, all the spirals. That is so a sundial. I have never seen anything even close to that here. Did somebody give that to you? Or nope, I found it. You myself. found that? I found it. 
I can't even remember. You know, I've been on this beach 22 years. You're like Roy. Roy doesn't know how long he's been out here. I know. <laughs> he just says a long time. Every chance I get. Yeah, every amen to that. I don't I get. Now, here's a couple, here's some shells that could be on Wiggins. They could be here, but. They could be here, but I don't have, I, none of these came from Wiggins. Okay. And here's the gigantic crown Wow, crown. that is my, that is my ultimate dream to find a, a, a king's crown, too. I was reading they call it a king's crown or a crown conk. A king's crown oh, is what I saw when I looked, when I, when I first saw them and said, boy, those are pretty shells. And this, but you can see why they call it the crown. Mm -hmm. It definitely, definitely looks like the crown. That is a monster. Another, I'd be clutching my heart if I found one that big. <laughs> I'd, put your I'd name have on the big it. one. I'll put your name on it. <laughs> Here's one called a tun, T-U-N. A T-U-N, tun shell. Oh, large. wow. It, it mm -hmm. doesn't weigh anything. And you could find this on... I don't know how you transport that. <laughs> now, I would, because it's so fragile, that it might not make it in one piece. That is incredible. And here's one called a bonnet. A bonnet shell. And that could be found here. That could be found on this beach. So as, as you're looking, and they may be found on some other beaches, mm -hmm. as you're looking, just think bonnet. And of course, here's what you have from the keys, from the lower keys. Oh, wow. The pink murex. That is a pink murex. You could find it here. And actually, you could even find a shell from Africa here. You could find a it shell. It could all the way across. Isn't it amazing? So Isn't it amazing? If you find something that's so extraordinary, like remember last year you found a shell that right. was given to me by an expert who didn't know what right. it was, and we showed our our beach viewers, family here, yeah. And it was a Lazarus. A shell. Lazarus, yeah. I'll bring that. That's, let's see the other side of that, the murex. Look at that. Look at the size of that thing. Could you imagine finding that on the beach, folks? But Man. you could. You could, especially if you're in Key West. <laughs> this is called a pupora. Pupora? And I don't, I would not have seen this before. And I had no idea that you could find this on a beach here. Huh. But you can. What's the other side of that look like? That's rather common. Yeah, that doesn't look like anything there. Might just walk right by it. Oh, but it has character. It does have character, like us. <laughs> <laughs> we got character. We've got character. Yep. And a little one that's interesting. And talk about oh. being named after after its looks. A bleeding tooth near it. Near right. Say that one more time. Bleeding tooth near right. N -E near right. Bleeding -E tooth near right. N e r i t e. Wow. Here's. That is cool looking. But you can see the bleeding yeah, tooth. Yeah, it looks like a bleeding tooth in there. And these all could be found on Wiggins. Wow. Then I brought some things that are made by people using shells. Because you see some beautiful artwork and craft right. work. Oh yeah, people shells. do all amazing things with shells, amazing. With the with the little coquinas, you ever see the pictures they make with the little coquina yes. shells? Yes. I mean, they have people's faces and all made out of the different color coquinas. If I was so talented, I mean, they're beautiful. To do that. I mean, what amazes me is the different colors of them. I mean, ah. every color of the rainbow on those coquinas. The coquinas and and the little jingles that are soft yep. colors. So, you, well, you're going to show us these yes, one of those spoons. Yes. Those are neat. The spoon and the fork. These are wow. old, very old. And those are and all I think shell. This, I'm not sure what the shell is that they're made from. That is amazing. But isn't that beautiful? That is very neat. That's a fork that, and a spoon made a completely spoon. from shells. Here's how you make. Look at the carving on that. Your grandmother probably had a brooch. Oh yeah. That was made out of that. What'd you and call those? Um, there's a word for those little. We're both stuck on that. Aren't oh, we? what did they call it? Cameos. Or cameo. Oh, cameo. Absolutely. Yeah, cameo. Thank you. Yep. Oh man of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> You're the wisdom. <laughs> 
And isn't that gorgeous? And that I've is, seen some that, that, that are incredible. even. Turn it in the sun. So people, so it gets some, and hold it straight up. No, that way, yeah, so people can see all the detail in that. Look at that. That takes a good mind to do that, carving anything, because you're working backwards. That's right. You know, it's really. Exactly. <laughs> that is so neat. And the shell is a beautiful shell. That's a cowrie, right? Isn't that a big cow? No. no, that's not a cowrie. No, it's not. I'd say, I'll tell you next time. Okay, <laughs> it's an I'll tell you next time kind of shell. I love it. Those are my fa I find a lot it's of those out here. It's a conch. It's a what? A conch? A conch. A kind of a conch. Now, now this is one, all natural, right? That was how it was found on the beach, this shell right here. <laughs> <laughs> this one is, it, you can see, it's from Japan. That is and you cooler. can see a soldier. Oh, yeah. Which tells me that probably during the Japanese occupation, yeah. that the soldiers that were there would buy one of these uh, scrimshaw on a top shell wow. and take it home for their mother, or their wife, or their sweetheart, whichever. That is so cool. And it's just so beautiful. But I, I think it goes back as far as World War II. Absolutely. On that one. So there's some... might, maybe Roy might recognize that. Well, maybe he saw it in the store when he was down there. I, as soon as he gets his hearing aid, I'll be able <laughs> I know to talk we can't to talk him, to him, about him right it. now. Until gotta then, stay I'm on kind top of him. Out of but, luck. Well, what kind of shell was that? That's a top shell. A top shell. That is cool. You can find tiny little top shells here on the yeah, beach. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I've, I've seen but little tiny ones, mm -hmm. something similar to that, yeah. Well, next time I'll bring my foreign, my okay. the ones from shells from all over the world. I'll right. still have my shells here because people sure, need Sure, people want to know what they're seeing out here. And what That's they're great. picking up on exactly. the beach I love it. and why there's a difference. And I mean, why and, some have yeah. holes in them? And I mean, I think all my friends watching, I'll bet you they could come over here and name at least 90% of these shells for you. I think they've learned a lot over the years. The worm shell, the murex shells, That's, the jewel box shells. They tell me that. They tell me. I remember last year when yeah. you told me this and this. and I'm, Well, you, you've taught me a lot, and I've tried to, I've tried to spread the word. Yes, you have. I try to spread Spreading the word. it every day in, in miraculous ways. <laughs> you it's have, wonderful. You taught me a lot. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be calling that. I would be calling that a... Uh, Turkey wing? No, I'd be calling it... It's the other one. It looks like that. I'd have to, have to have it in front of me. The other real common one here. I never used to notice the difference. <laughs> and then one day... What's it called? A moss arc. Mossy arc. A mossy arc shell. Really? Yeah. Now you're teaching me, and I love it. <laughs> they I look similar, it. and I used to pick up the mossy arcs and the turkey wings. I never, and the difference is obvious, but not Great. if you don't Show know. Show me one when you get one. Give me two seconds. Yeah. They're so common here. Oh. I will find you a mossy arc. Two seconds. Watch, this is the day I don't find any mossy arcs on the beach. It always works like this. When I want something, I can't find it. Jewel boxes, mossy ark. A mossy ark. Found it. Very common. <laughs> now she's got to tell me it's not a mossy ark. And that's... That's different. This, now, I would call it a turkey wing. See? That's, I never knew the difference. I don't know who told me. I thought I it was you, but there was a difference. look at the difference. You can really see the difference. That looks like a turkey wing. This is a turkey yeah, wing. Yeah, and that doesn't have anything close to looking like a turkey wing. You'd or, have to squish it because even the shape yeah. of it is very different. But I always used to think they were all the same shells when I was picking up. And and I think, oh, you it? know what? It was one of the park rangers told me. I need to know that. Days. You know, that's what I love about being out here. You will never hear me say I'm an expert, ever, ever. I don't believe I just taught I the shell learn. lady something. Absolutely. Uh-oh. The Mossy Ark. Mossy Ark. Yeah. Look it up in your book. Why I go? In, just in go. case it's not a Mossy Ark. I don't want anybody to know I've been telling them the wrong thing for years. <laughs> no, I just uh. love to learn new things every day, and I do. 
and I, I really invite everyone, and, and I'm so Amen. happy to be out here again. When, and so you're going to be here Mondays and Fridays? Mondays and Fridays from 8 until 10.30 or quarter to 11, okay. whatever time 10 it is. 10.30 to 11 is. Something and like that. Depending on the weather. And um, how, for how many more weeks? Until the end of April, so near we, near the end of April. Oh, okay. So you got a while to go. Here. I do, and I'm the happiest. Like that, I said, I'm the happiest. How about that person. sun? That sun just came out while we were talking. It is beautiful. Sun beautiful. is always out. Well, thank you for the... sharing your knowledge and your joy. My joy. <laughs> and, your, I yep, hope, and your joy. I hope that comes thank across. You. It does come across. We can kind of see you back there behind your shield. Yeah. I know. I can't wait till we don't have to worry about that nonsense. Well, but and I... The but no, it's good for you. I mean, it, it it just makes people feel safer when they come over here to talk to you. Yeah, that's probably... And people have been very, very kind. Yep. Yeah, I mean, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get ready to go because I know that... Um, yeah, it's that time already. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, late for me. Here he comes. Oh, there you go. You got some new takers. Wow. All right, Barb. Thank oh, you, dear. A lot of them. <laughs> That's so cool. That is so cool. Well, you can find her on Mondays and Friday mornings up here at the north end of the park in Area 4, Barber Grove. God bless her. You say, boy. Everybody's always curious. Boy, you want to show her this one we found? Pretty cool. Hey, thanks for watching. Tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Remember the motto, bringing people together, one beach walk at a time. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.